Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Direwolf 20 pack. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm having a good one. So, I uh, ended up using the netherite from last episode to upgrade my tool. So now it's netherite. I'm just upgrading some of these golems. Some of them are a little hurt. You gotta keep them up and healthy. I think that golem actually just tried to fight an enderman. <laughs> what a monster. Yeah. I've, um, I have a lot of levels, and I'm kind of afraid I'm going to lose them soon. I do want to do some enchanting. Probably not today, but soon for sure. I, uh, I've been messing with the... Oop, that guy's hurt. I've been messing with the, uh, some of the villagers in the village here. And trying to get some good enchanted books from them, you know, turning them into librarians. Oh, this guy's a sneaky beaky. So in here, which I have it, I have it uh, blocked off a little bit. Let me see if I can get in there. I have a guy with looting. I accidentally uh, hit them, so they, they their prices are different. Um, I got a silk touch, and this is the farmer that I've been using to uh, get emeralds and stuff. I've also been using paper, but mostly the farmer. And in a different house, one that's actually closer to our temporary house is, I think it's this one right here. I think I got a mending guy, which was pretty, pretty cool. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, mending. And I haven't messed with uh, this one yet. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably know how this works. You just, you find a villager that doesn't have a profession because their professions are linked to the blocks. Uh, that they're around. So for village or librarians, it's you need to put a lectern near them. So I crafted up a lectern and I put it in here next to these villagers and I made sure that no other cauldrons or any blocks that affect their profession was near them. And then I just kept cycling through till I got the enchant that I wanted. That's not right, but it's okay. So that's what I've done there. I've traded a little bit, but I've run out of emeralds. And I was using our farm that we had here to, uh, you know, to make it all nice, but it was kind of slow. And I sometimes had to travel far away, like when I wanted to find more um, of these Tetra ruins, and I didn't have a way to harvest it automatically. So I looked into that a little bit and found a pretty cool way using these things called botany pots. They're basically just these pots that you put stuff into, and you, it'll automatically just just harvest it for you. It's really cool. So we're going to get into that today. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I uh, moved the roof around a little bit. I think that's it. Oh, also I honed this tool, this netherite tool. Like, fully honed with efficiency 5 on the chop and the dig. And the mining, and it's settled. It's f I, I went a uh, full netherite. The only thing I'd want to change about this is the binding, and I think the handle. I might want to change the handle to um. Where is it? Hop in here real quick. I'm thinking about changing the handle to an end rod, or. Probably an end rod, and then I'm also thinking about uh, wrapping it with something else other than a leather binding. I'm thinking about doing a um, either a rabbit hide binding or a phantom, a phantom binding. But I need a phantoms. I need to like not sleep for a couple days to get the phantoms to come, and I haven't done that. So we're hoping on bunnies. So before we get into it, uh, I want to talk a little bit about some things that I got while going to the Tetra ruins I spoke of previously. I ended up finding an Earth Piercer here. This artifact hums violently, and it says if you combine with uh, two sticks and a crafting table, it makes a powerful mining tool. And I want to know just how powerful, so we're going to do that right off the bat. The Earth Piercer. Planetary Piercing. I hope it doesn't like... Is it like a throw? Do you throw it? 
Because I know some tools you throw in this. This, this isn't piercing the earth at all. Maybe it's like a, you have to, it's like a cobblestone thing. You gotta mine some stone or something. Let's hop on down to some stone. Whoa, what was that? Oh, okay. So it's like wherever you mine, it does like a straight line. That is actually very cool. I wish I would have found this earlier. That is uh, especially great for like... What's it called? Um, strip mining, like poke holes and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Fix that up. Yeah, that's very cool. Another thing I uh, found out about, so I'm going to keep this because this is a cool tool. A <laughs> cool tool. Um, is these things that we found. Where are they? Uh, here. These. Thonic. Cathonic. Uh, extractors. You can actually put these on a tool, and apparently they also make it an extraordinary mining tool. So I want to test that out as well. See? Extractor. You can just... So I'm going to put that on the front here of just a normal diamond pickaxe and see what changes. Well, it looks cool. I guess I'll hop down here instead of mining into the other area. Okay, so no right click. Let's see. A 3x3? Three three? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, dang it. I wish I would have known that earlier. I just found this stuff out. I mean, it's it's still useful. It's still useful. But, oh, that is sick. So, yeah, if you guys end up, you know, if you're playing along with me or you're, if you have the Tetramon, whatever you're playing, and you get one of those, definitely, definitely worth making a 3x3 hammer. Definitely. Okay, let's, let's put this stuff away. Very glad I looked into that. Okay, so let's get into these botany, uh, these botany pots. So first you need to make the normal botany pot. Oh, you need flower pots. Um. And so this is how you make normal botany pots. It's just uh, terracotta and flower pots. And if you want to make them a hopping one, which basically means that once it's done growing, uh, whatever crop is in there, it'll, as a, as a hopper, it'll eject the contents of your crop to the block below. So to do that, you can either combine these with a hopper or just put a hopper into the uh, original crafting recipe. So we are going to do that. I'm not sure how many we're going to need, but I'm going to craft up nine. Mm -hmm. Now, the unique thing about these is you can use different soils for different growing modifiers. Okay. So you know how we were using snad for the uh, sugar cane and the cactus? Well, snad will work in these as well. So I'm pretty sure I kept my snad somewhere. Snad. Snad. There we are. Now, now we need something for these to hop down into. And for that, we're going to be using spruce doors. So I'm going to... Uh, I actually forgot to go get more spruce, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I uh, thought I'd cut back in here to tell you guys a little bit of a story. About something that happened while I was playing. I know it's a little dark up in this tree. Um, so, I was running around the base, and I saw an Enderman. And the Enderman was holding a block. Okay, this is a real story. And I don't know if this is a vanilla thing or a modded thing, but the block it was holding was a dandelion. And that, I thought, was very, very cool. Like, amazing. I was like, oh my god. I was like, that's cute. You know, that's cool. I liked it. I was I was very I was excited. So what I thought I would do, I would trap said um Enderman in a boat. Which I did. I was I successfully because I wanted to show you guys. I thought you guys would think it was kind of nifty. So I did that. And then I went off to travel to some ruins, some Tetra ruins, and then it started raining, and these chunks are loaded. And I kind of forgot to put blocks over his head. And long story short, that's his dandelion right there. Kind of a happy story, kind of a sad story. 
I don't, kind of, I was so bummed. I ran back over that hill and I was like, no, the boat is empty, but the dandelion's here. Oh man, that really had me bummed out, but it, no, it's okay. Keep the dandelion forever. We should probably put it in a chest so we don't lose it. I know exactly what to do. Real quick, let me just get some clay. One, two, three. Hook that up. Okay. So we got the wood. I, uh, I, uh, there's a uh, spruce trees over there. And I just like to grow them here. I haven't grown them here yet, but I wanted to grow them here. And I totally forgot about the whole Ponzel thing. So now we have Ponzel. So that's different. <laughs> um, so let's get right into these storage drawers. So these are like barrels, if you know what a barrel is. Uh, barrels are like blocks that you can. I'm gonna need a couple of these. I'll, I'll just show it to you. So it's a block that can hold 32 stacks of one item and one item only. So this could hold all of our cobblestone probably. You don't see it's holding 36. You can shift right click it. So you can pull out one at a time, or you can shift and pull it all out, or stacks at a time. That's um, and that's how they work. So we're basically gonna have our hopping or hopper botany plots uh, pots go down into drawers of this. Oh, the contents get saved with these now, so you have to make sure you fully empty it. We're also gonna need a couple of the one by two drawers. Get some of those going. Okay. Now, as I was uh, saying earlier, how different things uh, react with better soil. We're going to be making the best thing I think that is in this pack is Phyto Soil, which is from Thermal Series, you know, the same mod that these machines originate from. So, that is made with charcoal and Phyto Grow and dirt. Not hard. Uh, I'd say the hardest thing is probably the Phyto Grow, which is just appetite, which you get from mining, niter, which you get from mining, but not too much, and sand. So let's get some of that stuff, some appetite, and some niter. Niter's kind of weird looking. Let's see if I can find it. I'm probably looking right at it. There's some. Do we have any more? I really hope... I don't think we'll need more. And some sand. It makes eight every time you make it, so... Let's see if we can just get a nice stack going. We probably won't need this much. I did cook up some charcoal. Just want to find that. Okay, here is a extra flower pot that we will put right here next to the window with our Enderman's dandelion. Okay. Now, where is that charcoal? Where did I put it? Uh, there it is. And dirt. Always got dirt. 15 dirt. That should be plenty. Okay. Here we go. Make up some Fido soil. Make it all up. We might need more in the future. Okay. So let's get some of these set up. I'm going to put them along the side of the house here. We'll have... So sugarcane, uh, cactus, and then I know that uh, potatoes also can have a singular one, and carrots, but wheat, wheat can't, wheat needs other stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's get some of these going. Let's do the first one. Let's get some snad going. I put snad in the top. Oh, look, there's a little hopper in the bottom. That's cute. That's cool. Oh, no, Enderman. And we're going to put a, just right click one sugar cane in. And you'll see it'll start growing. Now, the main reason why this is better is just because it's automated. As you'll see here in a second. If I want more, I can always... I probably won't need more, because this will always be going. As long as I don't use it too fast. And here we go. Come on, just it should drop right into there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We can put all of our sugar cane away. Next, we will do a uh, zombie attack. It's my favorite crop. Uh, they attack all the time. <laughs> they only come in spring. 
to get a sleep going here. Okay, uh, carrots, potatoes, cactus, pumpkin, industrial hemp. Okay, please leave us alone. Snad, and we'll do cactus. Now, I don't know if we can do trees. I should test that out right now. Do I have a piece of dirt on me? I do have one last dirt. It does trees. So, I mean, yeah. This is... Yeah, this is something... You should, this, this is pretty awesome. We can have a wood farm. Super small, but that's not what we're going to be messing with today. I might end up adding one for wood later. Uh, so we got snad cactus. Put our cactus away. I might have to sound muffle that. I don't know if you guys know about this, but or if I told you about this, but there's a little muffler mod. And you can muffle sounds here. You can choose which sounds that you don't want to hear. Awesome. Okay, what's next? Vito grow. And carrots. Vito grow. And potatoes. Potatoes, carrots. Now let me just double check this. Yeah, so this is going to output two things. Industrial hemp fibers and industrial hemp seeds. So this needs a, a twofer here. This is going to... So we'll put the top one... or Make the bottom one seeds. And the, hopefully the top one will then make itself uh, the other thing. The actual fiber. Next is pumpkins and they do pumpkin seeds and pumpkins if I remember yep wow that looks really cool I like how they're all growing very slowly and it's just perfect slap this one down another hopping let's get the wheat going where's the phyto grow there it is and the wheat seeds. There we go. So the only limit on these is that so um, the one by one storage drawers can hold 32 stacks of an item. Now these can only hold 16 stacks of each type, but there are upgrades that you can make uh, from the storage drawers mod. Let's look into it a little bit. Maybe I type that. Storage. I know what they look like, I just don't see them. Ah, here they are. Storage upgrade, tier 1, and it increases the storage base by a, a value. So times 4, time, it can hold, you know, so if it holds 32 stacks, I'm pretty sure it'll hold 8 times 32 stacks. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So you can get these, like, with emerald upgrades to hold a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, more than you might ever need a lot. So this is all working pretty well. And I do have an extra one. So let me just see what this gives in here. Oh, it gives three things. Okay, so that's that can make things difficult. So we probably won't mess with the tree today. But yeah, this is a uh, this is what we're rocking with. This is the upgrade I've done. Now another thing I wanted to mess with. Let me see if I just can put some of this stuff away real quick. Put our pumpkins away. Uh, I wanted to mess with something kind of like storage-wise, you know? Like, I'm kind of... I don't want to say tired, but I'd like to have something better than just going from chest to chest. So, wireless storage is what I'm thinking. And I don't know if we have the mod, actually. I'm going to have to check here in a second. Oh, isn't that great? And that'll be going whenever I'm away, no matter how far. So that's fantastic. So, so let's check that mod. Um, I believe it is called... I know it's from RF Tools. Oh, we have the RF Tools mod, so it should be in here unless it's been updated to where we don't have it anymore. And that'd be a bummer. But it should be a very quick craft, and it's so strong. 
Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I know what it looks like vaguely. Processor crafting station. Ah, here it is. Storage scanner, I believe. It's been a while since I've used it. So, this is a block that will allow us with power to access inventories within a radius and take items out and put them into it. It's kind of like an AE2, uh, like an Applied Energistics 2 system. So, what are we going to need for that? Two Ender Pearls, which we should have. Not too old. Uh, lapis, iron, gold nuggets. Everyone loves some gold nuggets. Inventory's a mess, but that's okay. We're holding it together, barely. Four torches, four redstone. Score. I think that's everything. Oh, it doesn't need lapis; it needs blue dye. Okay, there we go. So you make a machine base for all the RF tools machines, probably. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's what it looks like. So you start with their kind of chassis for their machine. And then you just put everything around it, and you have a storage scanner. So I will, for now, put that just right here, directly adjacent to our power source. Oh, look at that. It's face down. It's getting power. And the way it works is it's got a crafting table in it. And if I up the radius of its search to, I don't know, like, maybe 10. Okay, 10 blocks is a little bit much. Do like, eh, we'll do 10. So 10 blocks, now you can see all the things that it can see. So it can see this chest. So we'll favorite it. And we'll, we'll favorite all our chests. And our um, storage drawers outside. Not the trash can, though. We don't want to put all our items in the trash can. And even the rack. Oh, wow, we can do the rack, too. That's cool. Um, well, you don't want to do everything, but you want to, you do want to do a, quite a bit of things. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that we want to do, that all our inventory stuff is holding into. So then we can select... Oh, I also like to toggle the wide storage list off so you can have more room. And then if you click this all routable, because we made all of these things routable, all of our storage chests routable, uh, if you hit the at the very top to show all routable, then you can see all of your items. A whole list of This is everything we own. And we can take stuff out, and we can put stuff back in through this little uh, blue and orange square here at the bottom. I'm just going to shift my items back in. And now I don't really have to worry about organization for the time being. I might have to add more chests somewhere, but that's not a big deal. And look at how nice that was. So this is going to be how we access all our stuff now. I think. Yeah. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Break this. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see if we can sound muffle this really quick. Muffler. Recent. Oh, it's it's not that noise. Sounds like grass breaking, right? Right? It's this one. There we go. So I don't think we're gonna... Oh, is it like muffled or is it... Yeah, so that got rid of some of the sounds. I'll have to mess around with this a little bit more. But block.grass.break colon Minecraft. I'm pretty sure that's the main uh, grass breaking. Yeah, look, we can't hear that anymore. We break this piece of grass. So yeah, I'll tinker around with that a little bit and get the sounds all right. But I think that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. So, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.